everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to A Vintage Vanity. I am super excited for today's video because, well, you guys are here. As well as we are going to be unboxing and trying on, uh, let's see, five. Five months of unique vintages, a dress of the month club. I'm going to have to talk really fast in this video, otherwise it's going to be a year long. So, before we get started, I just want to say, if you are not already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. That way you will know every time I post videos, and make sure you click that notification bell so that YouTube can be like, hey, psst. Vintage Vanity just posted a go watch it. So go do all those things. And of course, if you like unboxing hauls, all that kind of stuff, go ahead and click on that thumbs up. It really does help the video. So let's go ahead and get started. See, I wasn't kidding, guys. There are so many dresses and I'm so excited. If you're not um, already aware of it, Unique Vintage, which is a vintage inspired clothing company, releases a dress of the month club. I believe it's $57 a month and you get a dress in the mail in your size. Um, this is not sponsored, but by the way, Unique Vintage, if you want to sponsor these, go ahead. Please contact me. I'm spending all my allowance on dresses which is easier when it's only $57 a month. <laughs> I'm just gonna randomly pick one of these. Oh. I don't know when we left off on this. I think it might have been when I was changing from, originally I was ordering a 3X because I was on the cusp and feeling puffy when I started it. Um, so I ordered a size too large, which the dresses kind of fit. I just had to alter them a little bit. Um, but I did change it to a 2X and it was really, really easy. I just contacted them via an email or a phone call. It's been that long ago. And they were like, sure, no problem, done. So the customer service has been super easy. I haven't returned anything, but in the past, the returns have been pretty easy as well. The only hiccup I've ever had with this is if, um, if for some reason it doesn't charge your card, because I had a new card, blah, blah, blah. It didn't charge, and because I missed the date that it was charged on, um, I didn't get the dress that month. So that was really the only hiccup. Okay. So, what do I want out of this bag? I kind of want something colorful and fun. So, let's see. Did I get something colorful and fun? Oh, oh. It is green velvet. This is kind of perfect with the holidays coming up. Oh, oh. Oh, this is okay. I have this exact style of dress, but it is, but it's in a knit. Um, and this is definitely a stretch velvet. These dresses are really, really comfortable. So oh, let's go ahead and try this baby on. Oh, I'm really excited because this is like a really cute little winter dress that could be dressed up so insanely cute. Oh, and, and it has a matching belt don't like the metal rivets though to be honest with you because they just show up a little bit more than you would like them to but I don't know let's put it together let's see if I feel the same way as I said earlier I am a big fan of the style of this dress because it is cute and super comfy and these this one ticks all those boxes as well but here's the thing I thought I knew what I was getting with this dress and surprise it is slightly different in the other style, which has been a summer style, the skirts have always actually been above the knee, which is super cute and very summery, but because this is more of a fall winter cut, the skirt is longer. It goes just below the knee, which is absolutely lovely and where I love my skirts to fall. And the other thing, as you probably noticed, my chicken wings here, um, the sleeves are a three quarter inch length instead of being a short sleeve. And again, it is because it is for the cooler months. But this is still a really stretchy, light dress that feels just super easy and breezy to wear. So I am a hundred percent in love with this. Though as excited as I am about this dress, the only thing that I don't like is going back to the belt and the rivets on the belt. It just, it just makes it really apparent 
because it's the brightest thing at your waist. But what I found, if I might just kind of turn it to the front, it kind of becomes more of a style feature rather than, oh, there's a bunch of rivets off to the side of your dress. So um, I'm kind of digging that. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments section below. On to dress two. Oh, oh, it fell out. It fell out of the bag. So I'm not going to look. I swear I'm not going to look. What do I want out of this? before I even touch it. I want something with a longer skirt because I've gotten a lot of like the shorter skirt styles, which is great for running errands and looking cute. But I like something a little more traditional. So let's see. Um, it's a black dress. You guys though that have been around for a really long time will find this insanely hilarious that this is a black dress just because in the beginning that's all I ever got was black dresses. Um, this is definitely, and I, okay, let me just preface that to say, I love black dresses, but when you're a person that loves color as much as I do, um, you want color a lot of times. Um, so this, this is another knit. I have to say, I really love their knits, their stretch knits, because they hold their shape. They don't get out of shape, and they're super duper comfy. This is a more streamlined. It is a little bit more classic. Not really my style, because I don't really like the way I look in the more wiggly type dresses. But I always say, give a dress a chance. You never know. And plus, like Anne of Green Gables, I love a puff sleeve. So let's go ahead and try this on and see what I think of it. This dress is the exact reason why I say always give a style a chance because I did not think I was going to like this at all. And oh my gosh, this might be my favorite wiggle dress of all time. There's something about the way that the hips are cut that actually makes it look like I have a little bit of hip. A lot of it has to do, I think, with the puff sleeve kind of like that. <laughs> Uh, 80s power shoulder going on, um, which I love. <laughs> Poof shoulders for the win. But also because the waistline sits a little bit higher and the fact that it has a waistline as well. So it brings it in just a little bit. Um, I love the flare of the skirt and with some support underneath this dress, I am going to feel like a million and two does. So give dresses a chance. Well, moving on to dress number three. I really, for this one, just because we haven't gotten it yet, I'm, guys, I would like to see color. Um, I'd like to see, again, I'd like to see like a full skirted. I don't think this is it because it's kind of a slimmer package. Um, but I'd like to see something fuller skirted. I would like to see color. Is it color? Is it? What color is it? What color is it? Ooh! Guys, I freaking love gingham. So hardcore. Oh, I'm so excited. And I don't really have a lot of purple. As much as I love purple. Oh, ooh. Woo! It's almost, it's, woo! It goes with my pinky purple. <gasps> Ooh! Oh! <gasps> oh my god. This is so cute. Um, okay. <laughs> Two of the reasons why I am so gaga is, again, gingham. Uh, but also because it has shearing in the back with panels. And if you're like me and um, sometimes you wake up in the morning and you're one size and by the end of the day you're a different size, it can be really, really frustrating and hard to stay comfortable throughout the day. So when you see things that have stretch and shearing, you're like, ah, oh, that's going to be a comfy dress. Uh, so I'm super excited about this. They've got detachable straps on it. So you got lots of options. Oh my God. Okay, let's just put this on my body right now. Now, before I show you the full dress, I want to address one thing, and that is I hate these straps. Thought I was going to love them because they're adjustable. I don't, you know, doesn't look great that way. I, you know, here it's just in too far. You can see it's not even covering my bra strap. It's an easy fix. You can just move those, um, 
whatchamacallit, buttons out because it's all adjustable. But what I actually really like instead is da -da 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 -da, as a strapless dress. It actually stays rather well without having any boning. So I'm not actually worried about it not having straps. I actually like it a lot better this way. So let me show you the full dress. The best word I can think of for this dress is absolutely precious. It is so cute. Can we talk about the full skirt on this? It's not just a full circle skirt. It's like a circle skirt and a half. Oh my gosh, there's the lovely flow and movement to the skirt. It's absolutely beautiful. And it has pockets. The bust, um, I really like, it's almost like a, a double double bust layer here, um, but they've ruched it up just slightly and it gives it just uh, a little bit more detail at the bust line, which I really, really think is a nice detail. Here's the thing, with this dress, the fit is a little bit more snug and that's because it is a non-stretch, very lightweight cotton, um, which is perfect for the summertime, uh, but just know this one is going to fit a little bit snugger, but that is completely to be expected. Um, I love the way it's fitting in the bodice really gonna keep everything in place um, the bow though I don't really like the bow or where it is uh, maybe put it here put it there put it over there take it off completely I don't know let me know in the comments section below what you think of this there bow situation going on as well as the strap situation going on but I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this dress because it's so stinking precious Precious. Okay, so this is dress number four, and I picked the lighter of the two bags. And to be honest with you guys, I don't even really know what I want to see right now. Um, because I got my kind of more like fuller skirted traditional. I got a little bit of my color. Um, you know what? I would actually like to see a again a longer skirt and also maybe something in like grays or neutrals not not beige neutral but something like super neutral that I could have really a lot of fun accessorizing so let's see I think I got it okay it's definitely oh guys 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 oh I'm so excited about this they do these really lovely dresses that have like embroidered um oh it's oh <laughs> yeah, this is cute. Okay, so first off, can we just talk about the belt right now? So there's a little flower. This is like, it feels like a rayon, um, which has a really nice, like, body flow and everything. Um, it's black, which is uh, really, really fun. And we've got these beautiful cranes on it. Oh, my God. Um... I'm a little uh, worried about the placement of the cranes, um, but like I said, you got to give a dress a chance. But the, the shape of this and the cut of this dress, I'm so freaking excited about it. Okay, let's just try it on. To say I love this dress is kind of an understatement. I was a little bit worried with it being more of like a rayon material. They're they're known for not really having a lot of give. Um, so when you're in larger sizes, it can be a little too unforgiving and be uncomfortable to wear for long terms. Um, but this is, I don't know if the fit on this is just a perfect for me. It's so comfy. Oh my god. I, 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 I can't. I can't even. It was like this was made for me. I love the flutter sleeves. They are adorable. It's very 40s and I could not be happier. I even love the neckline because a lot of times too with these kind of necklines you get into a baboom area that might be a little bit um, too much to wear to like a work setting. Um, because yes, I do, I, dress, I will dress like this at work. Um, the belt is still probably hands down one of my favorite things. I will say it's a little problematic just because of the material because though it very easily slides back and forth. But quite honestly, I don't know besides doing a different material, 
of a way of making that all work easily solved with a little bit of a safety pin where you like that belt to sit you won't have problems with it all day i love that the skirt is like it's about a three four circle skirt and it has a beautiful flow to it this whole dress is just oh my gosh i want to go dance at the uso i also thought that the double large crane situation was going to be an issue for me but the placement of them i think is very nicely done um and i actually really like them but here's the thing too is if you didn't like them they would be easy enough to remove as it is an applique sewn onto the dress with little trouble to that but i really like the crane so they they are staying love this dress i love this dress Whoop. I love this dress. Whoop. Here's the question. Is the excitement of opening these bags going to continue? I'm telling you, man, Unique Vintage changed things up. Better just look hell on it. I can tell right away. This is going to be a more traditional dress. Um, just because I can tell by the weight of it. Um, let me see. Let me look at my closet for a second. Let's see what's missing. So I highly doubt that they would do this, but I would love it if it was something Halloween related, which I don't think that they would do. Or I would really like something in pink and I would like it to be a print. So let's see. I'm just getting real specific with my desires out of this. Okay, hold on. Did I get it? Is it pink? Is it pink? Is it traditional? What is it? Oh, oh, it's definitely pink. Oh my God. Is this the color of my hair? <laughs> I think it is. Okay. Um, pink polka dot. I don't really have a lot of polka dot. Just a couple, uh, maybe three or four. Um, but yeah, I don't have, I don't do a lot of polka dot. Can't get more uh, traditional rockabilly than that. Um, Oh, oh, this is so cute. Okay, I have gotten a dress in this style before way back when I first started. It was one of my favorites. It was black. Um, but I really liked the cut and feel of it. So I'm super excited to um, have that in a polka dot in a color that, yeah, it's pretty much my hair color. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. This is another one of those situations where I'm familiar with the dress cut, so I knew exactly what to expect, and I am completely happy with how comfortable and cute this dress is. There is a ton, ton, ton of stretch in this dress. So if you're looking for something super comfortable, this is definitely a dress for that. Just know that it is probably about a medium weight. So it, while it is going to stretch, it's not going to give you support in that stretch. But it is going to be super comfy. And you guys might be thinking, um, hello, they duplicated a dress and just gave you a different colored polka dot dress instead of a black one. Um, just keep in mind that that dress that I got was probably about four or five years ago. So it's not like something that happened recently. So I definitely am not holding that against them. And this is such a great color. One of the, my favorite things about this dress is um, sometimes as a bigger girl, like I don't like showing my upper arms as much. That's just a me thing. Um, and the sleeve length on this is just beautiful. There's, um, there's no like cutting in under the armpits, which happens sometimes for me for short sleeves. Um, this is just so beautifully comfortable. And it even has this nice little button detail on the sleeve. Love it. Now, this is a very plunging, plunging neckline, as you can see. Oh, so sexy, right? Um, that's if you want to make it a little more modest. It's easy to just kind of tack it up a little bit more or put something underneath it, but I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. There are no pockets though, so it's not the perfect dress, but it is pretty darn close. Mm. I have to admit, I loved every single one of those dresses in their own unique and special ways, which really 
makes me feel good because let me tell you, I hate returning stuff. And <laughs> so, so when I saw the wiggle dress, I was like, oh great, I gotta return something. Um, so I'm so happy that it, it worked out. But um, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite dress was. Mine is the crane dress. I absolutely love the neckline on that, the flutter sleeves. It fit like perfect. Perfection. The only thing to keep it from being the most perfect dress in the world is the fact that it did not have pockets. But honestly, with those lighter rayon y, it's not rayon, but it's lighter like that. Um, you don't want a cell phone weighing your pockets down anyway, do you? Because that's what I'm going to tell myself. I'm going to keep doing these videos where I unbox them and try them on, but instead of hoarding like five months worth of these dresses, I'm going to be doing it on a monthly basis. So I'm going to continue the unboxing and then the try on and giving my initial thoughts. And then I'm actually going to style the outfit as well, which I'm really, really excited about. Now, before I let you go, I do want to give a huge subscriber shout out to Brandy Crisp. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and just being a part of our cozy little online community. And if you guys like today's video, be sure and click that thumbs up button right down there. If you want to keep watching my videos, go ahead and check out my latest video you see right there. If you're going to miss me between uploads, go ahead and follow me on all the social media as a Vintage Vanity. And of course, if you want to subscribe to this channel and not miss out on any video content, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.